bid you all good morning, good evening, and good night to wherever you may be watching this transmission. It is I, Mike Martins. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and set your reminders for live shows with call-ins. Call in to the show. Anybody and everybody is welcome. Guys, um, I don't even know how to say this. I don't even know if I'm even reading this right. But when I read this, I read through it. I read through the other one. I read through other little hints and uh, different buildups to it. It's not making any sense. And, of course, where is it coming out of the Petri dish of the world is Australia, where it's undergoing its 5G transformation. It's undergoing its... Uh, social credit score cameras being put up in Darwin and other parts on along the Gold Coast where people are uh, messaging me and letting me know that they're putting up cameras all over Australia. And it's within time. Uh, a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, city, city officials from Darwin went to China to see the technology so they could start bringing it back and start um, tracking everybody in Australia. And uh, Australia's housing market's been sold out to wealthy investors. The whole nine yards, the whole country is in, in complete turmoil right now, especially with Kovi. And Australia made a lot of mistakes with Kovi because they actually believe China's models, right? So, so did Canada too and the UK, right? So pay attention. Australia plans law forcing Google, private company, Facebook, private company, publicly shared company, to share ad revenue with domestic media firms. I'm going to re-say that again in case your ears aren't believing what I'm telling you. Australia plans law forcing Google, Facebook to share ad revenue with domestic media firms. So we all know that the dinosaur, dinosaur mainstream media has taken not the backseat, but they're in the trunk now. A lot of people have been canceling cable the last decade, and more and more people are tuning into all kinds of different avenues to get sources on what's happening in different parts of the world within seconds. Why do I want to watch Australian news if I want to know what's happening in Ecuador or if I want to know what's happening in Brazil? I just look up and watch the news directly from Brazil nowadays. You don't need uh, domestic media firms, right? Uh, sure, they're nice for old people and old folks' homes and stuff. So what's happening? Well, Sydney, Australia will pass a legislation within months obliging Facebook Inc. and Alphabet Inc.'s Google to share advertising revenue with local media firms. The, the country's treasurer said on Monday, becoming one of the first countries to require digital platforms to pay for content they use. So if somebody is making, if they're making... A video of some sort, and they're filming it, what, in Sydney? They have to start paying for content they use? It, it's got to go. I, I, I'm not understanding. Because I know in Canada, I know, I know in Canada, we have state-run media here. Just like Russia, Press TV in Iran. Canada is the same thing. We have... Um, uh, Canada's media got bailed out $600 million just before the 2019 uh, elections by the government that won or that got uh, that the, 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 the party that basically got most of the votes basically uh, uh, got um, donated that money to media, mainstream media, right? Treasurer Joss Framberg said in a statement, the move comes after talks with Facebook and Alphabet failed to yield a voluntary code to address complaints by domestic media players. Uh, the tech giant uh, giants have to tight, uh, have a tight grip on advertising with the main sources of income. On fundamental issues of payment for content, which the code was seeking to resolve, there was no meaningful progress, the treasurer said in a separate opinion piece in the Australian newspaper. Australia's online advertising market is worth almost $9 billion, uh, that's $5.72 billion American a year, and has grown more than eightfold since 2005. So what are they, what are they crying for? For every $100 spent online uh, advertising in Australia, excludes classifieds, and nearly a third goes to Google and Facebook. So what? So what? Like, I don't, I don't give a dime to the local newspaper here. The local, the local newspaper here, I don't give them one penny. I, if I want to promote my store, I give Facebook $5 a day, and it, it reaches five to 600 people a day, Facebook. Why am I going to give my local 
uh, buddy uh, local newspaper here in a small town, uh, three, four, five hundred dollars a month. So three, four people could come into my store, complain and yell at me. What's the point? Right. With Facebook, you could target where you want uh, your advertising to be. Right. Australia's online advertising. OK, we got that. Last December, Australia said Google and Facebook would have to agree to the new rules to ensure they don't abuse their market power and damage competition or the government would impose new controls. On Monday, which is today in Australia, I'm Sunday here, but it's Monday now in Australia, said the government has now asked the country's competitive watchdog. What competitive watchdog? It's all, it's all, it's all loaded. All their news is loaded. Everybody's lips in those, in those new newsrooms are loaded and they're told what to say. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, ACCCC, to develop a mandatory code of conduct between media outlets and digital platforms. The uh, initial plan to come up with voluntary code. Okay, that's not going to happen. We've invested millions of dollars uh, locally to support Australian publishers throughout content arrangements, partnerships, and training for the industry. Facebook Australia and New Zealand Managing Director Will Easton said in an email statement. Google said it will continue to, to corporate with plans of media code of conduct. We have, uh, we have sought to work constructively with industries, the ACC, and government to develop a code of conduct, and we will continue to do so in the revised process by the government Today, Google spokesperson said, wow, wow, wow. Here we go. Forcing Google and Facebook to share revenue with domestic media firms. Wow. Let's go here. Let's go back to it's the same article. Uh, pending a new code, the federal government last week unveiled support package for the local media business. Yes, because it's 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 so it's uh, socialized media. It's. It's state-run media. It's paid for, right? Including 12-month waiver of a Spectre tax for commercial television and broadcasters, a $50 million public interest news gathering program. So it all goes back to the failure of the mainstream media. If the mainstream media was making hand over fist, nobody's tuning into mainstream media. I go on Google and I type in COVID, Covey, right? Okay. All I get is all Canadian state-run media. This is all state-run media I'm getting here. See here? On the top. Look. All Canadian state-run. All from Canada. The National Global News. All Canadian state-run media. And when they say, Mike, you shouldn't be calling it state-run media. Yeah, they, they took a bit, huge bailout. Because a lot of them should have closed. They shouldn't be funded by taxpayers. Right? Then they go around and they say what they want about people. And they expose people. And then and then when they're when they're wrong about something, they, they hate doing retractions. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, yeah, man, I haven't seen like state-run state-run media here in Canada. I look at RT because I want to know what RT's angle. I look at Press TV. I look at uh, different other state or like Venezuelan news, right? Because you see a whole different angle there from what they're, the state-run media in Canada is telling you here, right? So I watch news from all over the world and I get information. I speak the languages of the countries I just said, right? So anyways, let me know what you guys think. I, I, media companies, should they go bankrupt if they can't afford to flip their bill? I mean, if they're, they're laying off staff left and right, they're taking uh, 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 public, uh, pu pu public uh, handouts uh, from, from – uh, no, they should be like me. Look, I'm here. I'm telling you guys what's going down. We're talking. We're having a good time. You're commenting. You're sharing the video if you like it. Blah, blah, blah. You even donate to me on, on thing. I have all these – uh, Patreon supporters that are supporting me. I love you guys, right? Because you guys know, you know? Anyways, it's, 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 it's all loaded. This is all loaded media. They're all loaded on what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. And people don't are just getting sick and tired with it. Let me know what you guys think. If you think this is right, let me know. If you think it's wrong, let me know. Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to set your... Don't forget to set your... Uh, reminders here for live shows. We have a couple hours long, Mike in the Night and Trends in the Housing Market this Wednesday where we talk markets, housing, unemployment, layoffs, oil, gold, silver, potential investments, what to stay away from, what to look at, and, you know, managing a good and prosperous life. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Lots of love to my friends down in Australia. Guys, you're going to have to help me with this one, Australians. Comment below and let me know, man, what the heck is going on down there.